Hello, you are watching NME.com and we are here at Reading Festival on the Sunday uh, with Justin and Freddie from The Vaccines. And uh, how are you guys? How was Leeds? It was great. It was amazing, as always. Yeah, just being in the Netherlands yesterday in between Leeds to Reading by Netherlands. But it's good. It's been a fun weekend. Excited for this evening. Uh, well received up in Leeds. Was it a good, good crowd? It was amazing, wasn't it? It was really good. I mean, it always, it, it always is. I think we sort of tell that story. It, it's a story that probably gets older and older every time we tell it, but one that remains as true that it is sort of one of the best weekends of the year for any artist, I think, mm -hmm. particularly, yeah. No, it was brilliant, but you spend the whole year looking forward to it, so and it's all about your expectation. But it, it always you manage your expectations, yeah, you know. <laughs> it always delivers, though, it's great. Have you uh, got fond memories of Reading? Have you had any wild times here? It was the first festival I ever went to. I think I was 13. I came to see the Strokes, so it's like my... It's always like the, the one for me. It's mm -hmm. like, it's the kind of pinch yourself moment it's the only one for me that, that has it's like that. a tangible marker of, of of sort of like i suppose where you are like yeah. you know what i mean and it's kind of even just like i'm still i still like fanboy over the old like lineups kind of like looking at who played our slot throughout the years and all that kind of stuff like i think it's a it's a rite of passage i think for any any artist sort of harbors ambitions in in the kind of uk isn't it it's important and a, a marker of kind of where you where you've got to in sort of levels of success as well, haven't you? I mean, you rocked some tents and, and yeah. Well, we <laughs> <laughs> we have we we first played this very slot in 2012, um, but I guess that's a good thing that we've managed to maintain hold, it. Maintain, that's the thing. We're yeah. talking of you know it's yeah. a different sort of festival now. Yeah, you know, yeah. Pop coming in, this sort of stuff. Do you feel as though you're kind of bastions of the? Well, it's nice that we've got the same slot as NERD <laughs> had yesterday. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I think that's a good thing. Yeah. I don't feel like we're, but I, I welcome the change completely. I think it's good. Reading and Leeds should reflect what what young people are. The lineup should reflect what young people listen to. I think, and, and yeah, I think it probably does. You, you could say that, but then also, you know, young people listen to. You know, they've always listened to pop music. But it's a, but wouldn't you argue it's a? It's, I would say it's a very eclectic lineup, though. Eclectic, but surely Reading and Leeds has always had this sort of niche of being kind of alternative. You know, maybe guitar. Like I just don't know. I just don't think there's the same sort of tribalism uh, amongst young people in the way there was like 10, 20, 30 years ago. And I don't think people see themselves as like necessarily like alternative. Maybe in the same way we did growing up. I think just because of the way people consume music, it is a much more kind of like a, like sort of like pick and mix, gimme mm. sort of uh, you know immediate instant gratification sort of world, isn't it? I don't think people necessarily like nestle themselves in kind of sub genres and subcultures in the way maybe they did when we were at school I don't know but it was still I mean even 10 years ago it was quite pick and mix like yeah a guitar buffet like you had the the metal day and yeah it's always yeah. been like that so I, I think it's a, it's a fascinating discussion to have in terms of wh whether sort of there is an alternative anymore probably not the, <laughs> the time but for it, reflect, it, right now, it reflects but actually it is interesting because it reflects my you know it reflects I think it's amazing that you've got Sum 41 and Dua Lipa playing on the same stage an hour, an, an hour apart. I think that's a, that's an interesting thing. It certainly reflects my listening habits. I'm sure it does most of, uh, most of the people out there, I don't know. Um, last, I last saw you at Latitude, which is a fabulous set. You seem to be having vocal problems. Yeah, so was, I like bruised my vocal. I went to the doctor very concerned the next day and bruised, I'd like bruised my vocal cords. God, how do you yeah. It's quite scary, I think, just overuse, talking too much shit. <laughs> About uh, whether yeah. or not the alternative music still exists. Um, so, uh, do you, uh, Combat Sports kind of rejuvenating sort of record, would you say? It definitely fit, like, I, it's been just really fun to come out and play this summer, hasn't it? I feel like we feel like the wind is in ourselves, feel like we're sort of getting better, having fun. I, I just think we're putting like a lot less pressure on ourselves you know talk about 2012 again you know I think because we came around so quickly in this kind of blaze of glory we put so much un maybe unnecessarily unnecessary pressure on ourselves respectively and now it just I think we're able to enjoy the position we're in and we're, and we're just enjoying playing new songs old songs just the fact that this is our, our life really I think it's I don't know it's just more fun being in the vaccines than I ever remember it being yeah we, we've actually just recorded a couple of new songs and it, it, we just it just seems like the less pressure we put on ourselves and the more fun we have like the better things the better things get any any sort of indication of where next might where you might be going I don't know yeah it's, it's sort of I I I don't know how to bot I think I think every we're always trying to figure out how to like bottle what you know 
bottle what the vaccines is and what it means whilst being I suppose at least trying to be able to move forward I don't really I don't really know we were gonna we were gonna play um, we we're gonna play some new stuff today but Arnie is Arnie's unfortunately not with us okay and finally then uh, it might be raining for your set today have you got, any, got any tips will. about how to any tactics to well, deal with the rainy uh, festival fortunately um, one of the, our sort of like m most enduringly popular songs is about the rain and growing old and misery and wetsuit I think wetsuit like seems to go down particularly well when it is raining I don't know I mean we just I what can I say I think day three you're either in or you're out aren't you yeah in for a penny in for a pound I don't know do you yeah. find it kind of you know people do go around dressed in wetsuits for an entire day just so they can sort of stand on someone's shoulders for that song that's quite impressive that's dedication to the cause isn't it it's flattering yeah 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 and mildly worrying. It's just getting wetsuits off. It's, worrying. it's hard as well. <laughs> where getting a wetsuit off and on. Yeah, I imagine a portaloo and a wetsuit is not not the best thing. You make it sound so easy in the song. Yeah. Like, yeah. I know, I know. Well, that anyway, was the point. Thanks very much, Dave. Thanks time, very much, guys. Uh, keep, keep stay tuned. More interviews coming your way.